Hello everyone, I am Professor Yewon Ma at the Department of Nursing, Gangnam University. Now, I will start presenting the research results submitted to the academic conference in June. The title is the Effect Factors on Family Stress in Middle-Aged Male. The table of contents is as follows. Introduction, Methods, Results, Conclusion. First, let me explain the introduction. Middle age is a physical, psychological, and socially important period during which menopause begins to cause physical changes in men who play a pivotal role in society as they prepare for retirement. Compared to women, men are less likely to ask for help with psychological difficulties. So, it is easier to overlook their emotional state, which can lead to more serious mental problems in this man as they reach middle age. The high expectations for middle aged males to be responsible for their home and to play a pivotal role in the workplace and in society place a psychological burden on them. Middle age creates the need to adapt to role changes and family stress due to a decline in physical function, a sense of psychological anxiety, and an increase in the emotional independence of children. Particularly, middle aged males experience the most physical and mental changes in their life development cycle at this time and experience high stress levels due to changes in their role and in their social position. Middle age ranges from age 40 to age 60 or 65. This period of life plays a significant role in key areas of men's life, not only in their personal growth but also in their social and economic status and in their role as the main economic provider for their families. Their responsibilities and economic activities associated with the performance of the head of the household are linked to the jobs of middle-aged males, so jobs and retirement take on great meaning for middle-aged males. Middle-aged males experience negative emotions related to retirement, such as anger, depression, shame, inferiority, and loneliness, and those with high retirement anxiety have low self-efficacy, resulting in problems such as isolating themselves. This reality can cause middle-aged males to face an unexpected psychological crisis which they may respond to with a crisis response or loss of confidence. Furthermore, the weakening of the middle-aged males' pivotal role in the family economy can negatively affect family conflicts and mutual family processes resulting in family stress. Therefore, efforts to cushion this negative impact are required. Self-efficacy in middle-aged men affects their physical and mental health related quality of life and is predictable based on the interaction between their living conditions and personal characteristics. In addition, self Efficacy helps middle-aged males to cope with frustration and difficulty, focus on what they can do well, and overcome challenges positively. Their level of action is determined by their faith and beliefs. Therefore, this study aimed to investigate the degree to which retirement anxiety 
and the self-efficacy of effective stress levels of middle-aged males. To determine this, the level of family stress, retirement anxiety, and the self-efficacy of middle-aged males was examined, and the relationships between those variables were measured to help understand developmental crisis and middle-aged males, if their family stress and retirement anxiety enhance their self-efficacy and provide basic data to inform the development of effective nursing interventions that can improve the quality of life for middle-aged males. Next, I will explain the research method. This study is a descriptive correlation research aimed at identifying family stress, retirement anxiety, and self-efficacy and identifying correlations among variables in middle-aged men. For this study, 150 middle-aged men aged 40 to 64 years old from the S and K regions in Korea were surveyed. After explaining the purpose of the study, the questionnaire was distributed and the process for completing it was described to the research subjects who had agreed to participate and provided their consent to do so in writing. Research tools are as follows. The first is family stress. The Korean version of the family stress tool consisted of five lower measures. Family health, family finance, couple relations, and households and children. Each question was answered according to a five-point scale in which the higher the score, the higher the level of family stress. The second is retirement anxiety. In this study, a measure developed by Lee and Lee was used to assess retirement anxiety caused by middle-aged men's uncertainties about their life after retirement. This tool comprised 18 questions divided according to the following anxiety-related categories psychological, physical, economic, and social. Each question was rated on a 5-point scale. Higher scores signified higher perceived levels of retirement anxiety. The third is self-efficacy. The tool consisted of 17 general self-efficacy questions and six social self-efficacy questions that were answered according to a five-point scale ranging from one point to five points, in which the higher numbers indicated higher perceived self-efficacy. The collected data were analyzed using the SPSS WIN 23.0 program and the general characteristics and degree of family stress, retirement anxiety, and self-efficacy were analyzed using frequency and percentage, mean, and standard deviation, while Pearson's coefficient was used to determine the correlation between family stress, retirement anxiety, and self-efficacy. The research ethics of the study subjects consider the following. After fully explaining the purpose of the study to the study participants, they provided their consent to participate in writing. The researchers considered the ethical treatment of the research participants by explaining to them that their data would be used confidently 
and only for the purpose of the research and by informing them that they could withdraw from a study at any time if they did not want to participate. They collected data or analyzed using the SPSS WIN 23.0 program. The general characteristics and degree of cancer adaptation, family support, and self-efficacy were analyzed using frequency and percentage, mean, and standard deviation, and the Pearson's coefficient was used for correlation between cancer adaptation, family support, and self-efficacy. Now, I will explain the research results. All middle-aged men surveyed were married, and their average age was 47 years old. 25.3% were professionals, 3.3% were managers, 60.7% were office workers, and 10.7% were self-employed. The average monthly household income was 6.26 million won. The average number of children reported per respondent was 2. In the family life cycle, 34% of preschoolers, 32.7% of school ages and adolescents, and 24% of adult children, 9.3% reported having no children. The wives of 78 respondents were housewives, and the wives of 72 worked outside the home full-time or part-time, and the average length of marriage was 13 years. And the average family stress was 25.26 points, retirement anxiety averaged 49.57 points, and self-efficacy averaged 73.95 points. Family stress and retirement anxiety were moderate or above, and self-efficacy was also moderate. The analysis of the correlation between the subject level of family stress, retirement anxiety, and self-efficacy illustrated that the higher the family stress level, the higher the retirement anxiety level. Thus, family stress and retirement anxiety were found to have a significant correlation. Finally, the conclusion. The study was conducted to identify the levels of family stress, retirement anxiety, and self-efficacy in middle-aged men and to examine the correlations between those variables and identify factors that affect family stress levels in the population. A significant positive correlation was found between family stress and retirement anxiety in this study. It can be interpreted as the higher the level of family stress, the greater the level of retirement anxiety, which suggests further studies to improve the quality of life of middle-aged men by investigating ways to better understand middle-aged men who experience a developmental crisis to discover ways to alleviate family stress and retirement anxiety in middle-aged men and develop and apply various programs to enhance self-efficacy. This study is meaningful in that it identifies the family stress levels of middle-aged men and related factors and the systemic 
Research results on this influencing factors will be used as basic data to inform the development of appropriate intervention programs. These are the reference. Now I will finish the presentation. Thank you for your attention.